I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tablet that he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end, it shall speak and not lie. Go and tarry. Wait for it. Yes, Lord. Because it will surely. Yes. It will not tarry. Yes, God. Yes, God. Just a reason that that's enough. You don't have to exegete nothing. You don't have to explain nothing. Just a reading of it. Wait for it. Write it down. Make, Make it, it plain. plain. So people can read it. Yes. Then it's going to come at the appointed time. It's going to speak. It's not going to lie. Yes, God. But with tarry, wait for it. Yes, God. It shall surely come. Yes, it will not tarry. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. For a few moments, we're going to talk about a simple subject the vision. <coughs> the victory is in the vision. Yes. Yes. Amen. The victory Amen. is in the vision. We say it again. The victory, victory. is in the vision. Sit down, you will have a seat. Let's, 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 let's dig into this. Thing. Dig in, sir. The, the, the book of Habakkuk is written by the prophet Habakkuk. It is one of the minor, the minor prophets. And, and, and new believers are, are sometimes confused between the major and the minor prophets. The minor prophets are called minor because the, the volume of their work is smaller. It is not that it's not as anointed. It is very much anointed, but sometimes uh, God gives some a large uh, vision, uh, a large assignment, a large prophetic word, like Isaiah, who had, I believe, 66 chapters. And then you have uh, Habakkuk, who has a few chapters, and Malachi, who's got four chapters. So, so it, it's still God. It's just God doing his thing in somebody else a different way. God yes. is a God of infinite variety. Yes. Yes. Stop expecting God to do anything that he has done That's right. the same way again. Right. Come on, God, God, God. And let me tell you something. Even when it comes to us, yes. no two of us are the same. That's That's right. Right. That's right. Even twins, while they might look alike, right. are not the same. That's right. That's right. Even, right. even, even uh, people who grew up in the same house and have the same parents can be different. That blows me away. Oh Lord, yeah. no. I'm a father. I'm a parent. I have, I have, I have four children. They have the same father and the same mother, and they are as different yeah. at night and day. I cannot understand that. How can you have the same father, same mother, grow up in the same house, go through yes. the same, and y'all as different as night and day? Because God is a God of infinite variety. Yes. Yes. One of the things I love about God, uh, I, was, I was sharing this with someone recently, uh, 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 you know, God is, is, God likes to show off even in human beings. Mm -hmm. Do you not know, we, we all know that, that, that we all have different fingerprints. Yes. 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 But God didn't just do that in fingerprints, you know, we all have different brain patterns. Yes. Right. Your brain waves are different than anybody else ever. Yes. We have different ears. Everyone's ear is different. They can identify you by your ear print. That's right. right. They can identify your your eye, your retina. They can yes. they, your retina scan yes. is different. I, I mean, just look at that. I mean, I, I just read something in Japan. They're working on something. The the the, the vein prints in your palm of your hand are unique as as unique as fingerprints. Wow. So so the, the, in Japan, the new thing you'll be hearing about in another five, ten years, where they'll be using it, they can identify you. If somebody tried to fake your fingerprint, they cannot fake your vein prints because they can't see it. Yeah. And they develop a machine so if you just put your hand on it, it will read the vein prints in your hand. Wow. So it's not just the fingerprint, not just the eye, not just your brain pattern. Not, you, you know your dental records are different than everybody else. Yeah. They can identify your dead body from your death. That's right, yeah, that's right. God is a God of infinite variety. Yes. 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 No two churches have the same story. Oh, wow. right. I, I know, you know, people go to, 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 to uh, conferences where, 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 where churches have grown and they're, they're big, and you know, people come and oh, what did you do? And, they, and they will, you, you can do the exact same thing T.D. Jakes did, and it will not work out the same way. Because God is a God of infinite variety. He, he, you, you can 
copy something to the letter and it will not work the same way. Yes. Why? Because it's not for you. That's you right. have to find what God has for you. Right. You have to find your path, your steps. You have to find your the, the, the way that God wants you to go. And then when you do that fully, God will move for you. As, 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 as a pastor, they're, they're, I've studied churches. There are churches that have gotten big off of prayers. Right. And then the churches that don't praise the Lord at all, and they've gotten big off of Sunday school. And the churches that got big off of prayer. And the churches that, got, that have gotten big off of small groups. Right. The church has gotten big off of the music department. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. And so you running around trying to you gotta do yes. what God wants yes. you to do. Yes. Yes. Respect everybody. Yes. Applaud everybody. Yes. Learn from everybody. Right. But you have to understand, Lord, what do you want me to do? Yes. How do you want me to build my life? Right. And while that's true for the, for the church, it's also true for your life. Absolutely. Just because so and so did this, 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 and got a man, don't mean you got to do it. Yes. That's why. That's why. Amen. That's why. Right. That's right. That's right. Uh, you have to understand God is a God of infinite variety. And if you will follow your path and the steps he has ordered for you, in the end, it's going to work out. Amen. Somebody take your finger, put it in your chest, say, do what God told you to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. So, 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 uh, Habakkuk is a, is a minor prophet, but he is not minor in, in quality of word, he's minor in the length of the word. And, and, and I, I love Habakkuk because the theme of Habakkuk actually is, is one that all of us understand. The theme of Habakkuk, when you start reading it in the, in, in, from the first chapter, is a very simple thing. How long do I have to wait? <laughs> ah, I'm talking to somebody right now. Yeah. The theme of Habakkuk is how, how long? How long do I have to wait, Lord? Because see, see, when you're waiting, it seems like it takes forever. Yes. Yes. It really does. When you're waiting, minutes seem like hours. Yes. Right. Hours yes. seem like days. Yes. Right. Days seem like weeks. Yes. When you're waiting. Now, when, when once you got in it and you're having fun, hours seem like seconds. You ever planned a vacation? Yeah. Waiting on the vacation. Well, it seemed like the days take forever yeah. to get there. I mean, oh Lord, it's a month away, but it looks like you see the TV cameras where you think, and it whoop, it pulls back. It's like six months and 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 then you go on vacation, and that week moves like a you you wake up and it's time to pack your bag. Because waiting is one of the most difficult things to do. It's, it's hard to wait. When you're, when you're waiting, uh, uh, all, all kind of stuff happens. You, 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 you think that, 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 that it's never going to come. I know, I know you're on the deep and have faith, but every now and again, sometimes stuff happens, you're like, is it ever going to happen? Yeah. And that's what Habakkuk was talking about. His theme is, Lord, how, how long do we have to wait before you move for us? How long do we have to wait before you do it? How long do we have to wait before we see your power? How long? What I find interesting is that the name Habakkuk means embraced. Mm. And that's the theme of your, of your, of your, of your, of your yes. embrace the vision. Yes. Habakkuk means to embrace because, because you have to embrace what God has for you. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, I just said something right there. Right. Stop fighting what God has for you. Stop wishing he had something else for you and embrace what God has for you. Because God loves you. And he knows what he has assigned to you and what he's assigned to you is right for you. Amen. And so the, 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 the thing that you must understand as we, as we begin this anniversary, you got to embrace what God has. Yes. Yes. You, you have to stop fighting God. Ooh, stop fussing at God. Yes. Stop complaining to God. <laughs> stop winking at God and wishing to come on Lord. No, no, embrace what he has for you because if you embrace it, when it comes, you will find you are, you are finely tuned. To, to be able to be, to handle, to be able to work the very thing God has for somebody. Say yes. Amen. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Okay. Yes. Yes. 
So, so now, so have a in, in the second chapter, he says, I mean, I'm, I'm going to stand at my watch. I'm going to be in my place. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to stand here so I can see what God has to say. Yes. I always love that for you. Yes. Yeah. That I can see what God has to say. The ability to see what God says. You have to see it before he does it. You have to see it before it manifests. You have to see it before it shows up. You have to have the ability to see what he says. The ability to look and see in the spiritual yes, what you cannot see in the natural. Yes, All yes, I see God. is a word yes, from the Lord. Yes, if God yes. gives the word, I'll see it. Yes. See, and, and some of us have to learn in our lives how to how to be able to do that. Lord, let me hear it. I don't want to just hear it. When I hear it, I want to see it. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. When I hear it, I want to see it. Because if I can see it, I can achieve it. Everybody can see it when they see it. But only those of us that are anointed with faith can see it when he says it. Can see it when I hear it. I hear it. But when I hear it, I see something. Oh my God, I I release in this place the ability to see what God says. The ability to see it. Before it's manifested, I can see what God said. Yes, yes, yes. So, so it means, it means I gotta keep my ear attention. Yes. Because it's, it's my hearing that leads to my seeing. Yes. I, I have to attune Come myself on. to God yeah. and to the frequency of God because God. it's not so much he's going to show me yeah. it's he's going to tell me yeah. and what he tells me oh, is then Jesus. going to become what I see that's why he says in the yes, second God. verse write the vision uh-huh. I can write the vision because I heard it right. and when I heard it I saw it and when I saw it I could write it right. 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 Good. write right. the vision, the vision. Mm. write the vision my God, my God, and make it plain. So I said, make it plain. Write the vision and make it plain. You gotta, you gotta write it. You gotta write it. You gotta write it. Now, 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 now let's deal with you about, about vision. 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 There's so many books and volumes written on vision, uh, but let me try to simplify it. Vision. Vision channels the energies of people into productive results. Mm. That's what vision does. I'm gonna say the vision right now. Vision channels the energies of people in, so that you can get productive results. Vision is what you use to channel because everybody got the idea. Uh-huh. Okay, but what is the vision? And then when we see the vision, then we can bring all of those ideas onto, and now we can channel the energy. Channel the power, channel the money, channel the vision, and now when we channel it, we can now have productive uh, results. Because if we're not having productive results, we need to close up shop. That's yeah. right. Yeah. That's right. If we're going to do it for God, there should be productive yeah. results. Yeah. You know, it, it, do it, but make sure that there are results. I, I was someone the other day, we were talking about. Um, 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 some things that, that they were doing, and, and I, I share with them. I said, well, "Listen, you know, I, I understand that what you feel you have to be your call to do, but if you're not getting results from it, mm-hmm. close it down. Yes. Find another way to do it because you, life is too short yes. to be doing anything yes. at which you are not getting good results. Yes. That's, right. That's right. Life is too short right. That's right. to do anything where you're not getting good results, yes. and so that's what." Vision does. Vision takes all of you, all of you with your talents and abilities and your ideas and your strengths and your weaknesses. Vision brings you together and, yes. and, and collects your energy and collects your gifting and, and it takes it and produces productive yes, Lord. results. Because yes. don't you want to win? Don't you want to win? Yes. Don't you want to win? Yes. Vision is what helps you win. Yes, now, let me tell you a few things about vision, then I'm going I'm to shout once or twice and be out your way. Now, <laughs> y'all know I got to shout now. Uh, I'm going to teach you a little bit, I'm going to shout, I'm going to shout too. V- vision is like glue. Oh, you know what glue does? Sticks 
things yes, together. Right. When you have vision, various people from various places come together and they can be united come on, because Alice. vision gives you glue. Come on. Come on. When a vision is understood, when a vision is shared and, and, and disseminated and everybody gets it it, 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 it brings people of varying histories and varying uh, 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 places together. It bring, I'm amazed even in my church, we have people from all over. We have all kinds of people and they're all together because of vision. Yes. Yes. One of the things that we do in our church, every week we recite the vision. Because I want people to know what the church is about. Yeah, Dave yeah. Bethlehem's Cathedral is dedicated to developing balanced people of God who will advance the kingdom of God. Committed to touching lives with God's love and changing generations with God's word. Every Sunday, every Sunday. My little, my little children know it. I, I, I do it. I teach it to them without teaching them. Amen. That's right. That's right. So they don't even know. So after they hear it a few months, they now know it. Yeah. And you just, it's wonderful. It blesses me as a pastor when I watch them and the little kids are like, they buy back for half the things. They are learning it because, because and, and without knowing imperceptibly, the vision is getting down. What's, what's your church about? Oh, we, we about to advance the kingdom of God. Amen. Touching lives with God's love and changing generations with God. Wow, wow. Amen. Now, now, now that, that's our specific vision because all churches have the same vision. Our vision is to, is to, is to get Jesus out. Amen. Yes. To get Jesus into as many people as possible. That's our vision. Our, all of us have the same assignment. We are to get as many people out of the kingdom of darkness. In the, but how we do it depends yeah. on, on the vision of the house. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. And so, so you have to know what the, and the vision really comes from God to the leader. Notice, yes. it, it don't come to the deacon, yes. it don't come to the minister, right, right, it comes right. to the leader. Right. 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 Amen. So, so I, I tell people all the time, like, like you know, sometimes saints, not, not here, but saints like to get deep, you know. And, and, and I, one time I had somebody say to me, Bishop, I feel God calling the church to a fast. <laughs> I feel God calling us to a fast. So we need to be fast. And I said to him, I said, you know what? See, see. Since I'm the head of this house, if God wants us to fast, He would tell me to fast. Amen. But since you feel that, you know what He's really doing? He's calling your house to a fast. So I think you need to go on this fast. You know that all of a sudden it was God no more. I'm like, no, no, no. Because see, you have the vision for your house. I tell people that all the time, listen, we ain't got to compete. You, you, you got the vision for your house. Whatever your address is, God gives you the vision for that house. You, 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 feel, you feel a 21 day fast? Fast in that house. You, you feel God going, it do it. But, 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 but when it comes to this house, you don't have vision for this. And, and, and we have to understand that going in. We have to understand you might have ideas, you might have thoughts, you might have leanings or predilections. But after all this said and done, only one person has the vision. That, 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 that Negro right there. Yeah. Right. That's the one. And God brings people along so we can we can pool our energies, we can channel our energies together to have productive results. But but only one person in the vision. See, and that vision is what glues us together. That's it. We come from different places, have different histories, family, family lives. Some of us are single, some are married, some are divorced, some are whatever. But we but we come together because the vision is the glue that holds us. Amen. Amen. Vision is not only glue, vision is also a magnet. Yes. Yes. You know what a magnet does? It attracts. Yes. When you have vision, God will attract people to you for yes. that vision. Yes. Now, now, see, not everybody belongs in every church. That's right. That's right. That's right. Having the wrong person in your church can destroy your church. Yes. Right. Yes. Because if they got one vision, yeah. And the leader have another vision. Yeah. That's that vision, ah. and that's gonna kill the church. Yeah. So God don't want everybody in every church. No, 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 no. So, so because because the, the thing about vision as a magnet, it attracts people. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, so I'm, mm, I'm attracted. I, I don't know why, but I'm attracted to that thing. I'm, I feel the pull. I feel the pull because 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 I, I, every time I hear this 
person or hear the vision, something leaps inside me. That's the magnet, the magnetic approach of the vision because yes. it pulls me. I, I tried to stay away, but it pulls me. Ah. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You try, you try to say, ah, I've gone to the place of trouble. No, I gotta keep coming back because yes. there's something about the vision yes, here God. and the visionary, and something attracts That's me. Because vision is a magnet, yes, it God. pulls me. No matter how much I try to pull away, I'm attracted to that. And see, and, and for those of you who, who are going to leave later on, don't try, don't, don't buy anybody for your vision. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If, you, if you have to pay anybody to be part of your vision, you don't want them. <laughs> if you got to bribe people, if you got to make them promises, and I'm going to do this. No, 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 no. I only want people in the vision who want to be there. Because they are attracted to it. And they can't. The Bible says, the Bible says, when God anointed Saul, and he comes down after he chased his father's jackasses. God anointed him. When God, when Saul came down, the Bible says there were some men whose hearts God touched yes. to join themselves to Saul. Mm -hmm. Saul did not try to get these men to yes, follow him. Sir. Yes. Saul yes. was just coming down from the anointing. But when you are anointed and God has given you an assignment, he will then touch people's hearts. And the only people you want around you are the people whose hearts God has touched. If yes. you got to touch their heart, yes. if you got to bribe them, if you yes. got to make the promises, you don't want them! Yes, sir. Oh. True. You don't want it. I recently been elevated, many of you know, to the presiding bishop of Covenant Fellowship Alliance. And uh, one of the one of the things that happened behind the scenes, most people don't know, when we started talking about me um, taking over and, and ascending to the to the presidership, um, I had a meeting in Charlotte with all of the bishops. I called all the bishops together. <coughs> Call them all. I said, "Listen, I said I don't need this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, said, I, I, don't need, I said my church take good care of me, mm -hmm. and I already have a group of pastors and leaders that are with me. I don't need this. I don't need no headaches. I don't need no fighting. I don't need none. I don't need none of this. Mm -hmm. But if I'm gonna do it, mm -hmm. I'm only gonna do it if we're all unanimous in this thing. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. That's good. Because 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 I understand the challenge of leadership." And if God is now going to do this on this level, then I want to make sure we cool because I ain't fighting nobody. Right. Yes. Right. 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 True. Right. If I got to fight, I'm gone. Yes. 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 Because I have a great church in Queens mm -hmm. and it's more than enough for me. Yeah. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. And, 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 and so and, and I said, y'all have to know that God has knitted your hearts to mine and, then, and, I did, and, and unanimously they all agreed and that's how we got to where we are today. Mm -hmm. Because my thing is, I ain't fighting nobody for nothing. Nah, nah, nah. I will fight the devil. Well, I'll fight the devil. But I ain't fighting saying I ain't fighting nobody. I ain't fighting no, 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 but be, because, see, I understand when God has knit us together, when God has magnetized us, he pulls Ooh. us together. Yes. Yes. So that even when we're doing different things, we're still part of the Even though Mount Zion, y'all are over here, y'all are still connected. Yes. Yes. We are yes. still connected. We yes. don't talk every day. We don't. We ain't got time to talk every day. Uh -huh. He got the pastor, I got the pastor. Uh -huh. but, but we are connected. And the Tyrone is going out, but we are still connected yes. because there's vision and where there's common vision that it doesn't matter what goes on we are connected because vision magnetizes yes. us it yes. pulls us to yes. 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 somebody say amen, amen. amen. vision amen. is also a laser mm. you know what a laser is a laser mm -hmm. it zeroes in yeah. it says that's what I'm going after yeah, you ever watch those, 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 those war movies and they have the rifle and the rifle has that little red dot yeah. the, little red dot. the red dot is the thing it's, it's, it's laser attached to the to the gun sight to the wind when I shoot whatever it's whatever that laser is hitting, bam, that's what's going to hit. Yeah. Yeah. See, 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 because the laser makes it clear. I'm I'm not shooting that. I'm not shooting that. I'm shooting that. Yes. That's what I'm going after. That's where we're going. That's what we're going to accomplish. That was is what God has put in my spirit. That that that. Other people may be doing that, but we're going to do that. And that's what the vision is. It's the laser. It says, uh huh. I, I got you in my sight. 
my little boy shot. I feel something right there. I got you in my sight. And I want to tell the church, you've got victory in your sight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. you got victory in your sight. You, see, see that, that's why you got to have the vision and embrace the vision yeah. and follow the vision yeah. and work the vision because the vision. Uh, uh, see, 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 and, and you got to be careful. Don't be distracted. No, I don't want that. I want that. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That, that looks like a good target. That's yeah. that, but no, 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 no. God told me that. Yeah, right. And, and the devil say, but what about that? Oh no. yeah, that's a, no. But I want that. See, yeah. and, and the ability to focus when everything else is trying to pull you. Oh, that's yeah. good. But that, no, that this is what God told me. No, yeah. but what about that? No, 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 no. See, and, and for some of you, you, we, we, you become successful when you learn how to be laser-like in your focus. Right. Yeah. 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 Most people fail because they're like shotgun. They're scattered. Mm -hmm. So they're scared. They're scared. No, 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 no. You got to learn how to be laser like that. Ah, that's what God has told me to do. That's what God has assigned me to do. That's the vision that God has given me, and I'm going after that. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes God. And somebody said, well, what about this? Well, that's good too, but that's not what I'm called after. That's right. See, listen. There are many needs in humanity. That's right. Okay, and 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 the. I know some churches where they focus on feeding people. They feed people every, every day or every week. And that's good. And that's their focus. Right. Our focus is not to, we don't do that. If, but, but we help, we give them money so they can do it because that's their vision. And we feed people from time to time. We do all that. But, but you have to know what your vision is. Right. See, because if you start to do something because somebody else is doing it, right. you are now... Jesus, yeah, that's good. It, it, it's no longer laser light, yeah, yeah. and, and that's not only true for church. That's true for families. Yeah, right, mm. right. That's true for personal life. You got to, you got to know yes, what am I called to do. Yes. That's right. Yes. Yes. What, what is my assignment, especially in? Oh, I hear you, Lord. In this season. Yes. 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 See, because because assignments change depending on the season. Right. Are y'all getting something out of this? Yes. Yes. When, 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 when I first met your pastor, mm -hmm. I was not a bishop, That's right. I was not a pastor, I was a musician, I was a minister of music. Yes. Yes. My assignment at that point, my, my vision at that point was to come behind my pastor and serve him in preparing the atmosphere. Yes. So I would, I would, I would, you can tell you, I would play, yes. I, I, I'd get on that keyboard down and lead worship for an hour and a half. Yes, yes. yes. Because, because, because that was my, in that season, yes. my, yes. it wasn't yes. the preach. People often said to me when I started preaching, oh, man, God, you've been preaching a long time. I said, I didn't even start preaching until I was in, in my 30s. Wow. Mm -hmm. Because I was in a part of a church where the preacher was a, a world-class preacher. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody want to hear me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I didn't want to hear me. <laughs> because my assignment at that time was not to preach, it was to lay the groundwork for the worship, develop the choir, put everything in place, yes. make sure that the audio was right. That, that was my assignment. Wow. And because I was faithful mm. to that. Wow. Yes, yes, right. yes, right. yes. Right. Now, I, let me tell you something. Yes. Let me tell you something. Yes. When I was doing that, I had friends my age who were oh. traveling preaching. Mm. Oh, they were going everywhere. They were going everywhere. And, 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 they were, and I was happy for them. I was happy for them. And, and I wasn't because I was like, I, I, you know, I, I, I really thought I was the next Andre Crouch. That was my vision for me. I was a, some of y'all too young to know Andre Crouch. But, 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 but I, I was the next. I, but God decided to give that to Fred Hammond. But that's all right. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. But, 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 but that, that, that was my. And, 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 and so I was faithful, I, but I had friends that were traveling and preaching and doing stuff, and, and, and it, it amazed me. And then when God finally called me to preach, I was so far behind everybody. I, I didn't start pastoring until I was 36 years old. That's old in, in, in church. But, 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 but I, I, I said, well, Lord, okay, I guess I'm just going to be in this little corner over here doing my thing, and I'm going to be faithful to the little 50 that you gave me. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. And I was faithful to them, and something happened. Something happened. Because I was faithful in the season I was in. Right. And then when I got in a new season, and it wasn't grand, there wasn't nobody carrying my Bible, nobody would call yeah. my name. Yeah. It was just me and a few people in a little yeah. upper room, a room about this size, yeah. by the way, yeah. in Brooklyn. And I was there 
faithful and, and doing just doing my thing and be faithful in the season yes, and not trying to put my card to nobody and give I, I was just being faithful. He will tell you we were there and that in that place where nobody really knew it was a dead end street. Oh, you, I, I had somebody prophesy to me and say you can't move there. It's a dead end street. That's 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 a that's a prophetically that's a bad place to be because you're in a dead. Somebody you're trying to be deep. You know what I mean? Some deep folk, you know. Yeah. Man of God is a dead end. You can't be there. Because if you're there, nothing's going to happen to you. It's a dead end. <laughs> but in that dead end street, Bishop Hinder came and found me. In that dead end street where I had uh, 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 only about 75, 150 people coming in. I was faithful and preaching like, like I did every week. I'm sweating. I'm giving them the word of God. I'm I'm believing God for something. I don't know what it is. Yes. And in that in in that backwoods upper room second floor at the dead end street, God came and found me. Amen. Amen. And so I got a call on you. And that, that's where I was. But Bishop Hill came and put his coat on me. And you were there, yes, and sir. and that's how I became a bishop. I didn't go to after nobody. I didn't go right behind nobody. Say, yo, doc here. You know, you know. That, that, none of that. I was faithful in my assignment because I understood how to be laser focused in what God had called me. Because I know this much: if I'm doing what God has assigned me to do, God knows where I am. Oh, let me tell somebody in here: you ain't gotta go after nothing. God knows where you are, and when He is ready for you, He will find you. He will set all that you need because God knows where you. Somebody give God a praise right there. Turn to a neighbor say he knows where you are. He knows where you are. Yes. 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 He knows where you are. I'm trying to hand out. No, no, no. Just, just be faithful. And be laser-like in your focus. Understand this is what God has called me to do. And I'm going to do this. And when it's time to change, he'll know what to do. Yeah. Yes, God. David, you're going to be a great king. Yeah, but right now I'm a shepherd. Oh! You're going to be a great Yeah, but right now I'm caring for some sheep. I'm not running around trying to beat nothing but the shepherd because that's what God has called me. And as long as that's my assignment, I'm going to be laser-like in my focus. I'm going to take care of those sheep. And when God is ready, my father is going to send me to meet Goliath. And that's going to change my life. But I'm not looking for nothing. I'm going to be faithful where I'm planted. Yes. 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 Stop looking for the next thing and be faithful in the thing. You hear what I said? Stop looking for the next thing. Because we're always looking for what, what, what's that? What, what's that going to give me that? Go be faithful where you are. Be labor like in your focus and be faithful where you are. When, when, when the pastor came to me to talk to me about the church that Pastor Tyrone is taking over now, mm. he was at his job where he had no idea that decisions were being made about him. He wasn't trying to impress me. He wasn't trying. He was faithful at the church, serving, doing all that God called to me. When God was changing his destiny, he was at work. Come on. By the time he found out, it, 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 it had already been settled and done in the heavens. Yes. Because, and, and he had no idea. Because it's not your job to push yourself. Yes. It's your job to be faithful where you are in the assignment God has given you. Be laser focused. Do this and do it to the best of your ability. Right, right, Give right. God your best. Yeah, let me say it again, Mount Zion. Give God your best. Yes. Nothing but your best. He deserves your best. Yes. When you're tired, yes. give him your yes. best. Yes. When you're mad, yes. give him your best. Yes. When you don't know what to do, give him your best. Because he's worthy of your best. Yes. 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 My God. Jesus. Oh God. So a vision is like yes. glue. Yes. Mm. My God, yeah. hallelujah. My vision is like a magnet. Mm. Mm. Vision is like a laser. And lastly, vision is a yardstick. Mm. It's how you measure. Mm. Mm. The only way I know I'm getting Ooh. to 
It's because this vision is the beyond state yes. that says, I'm closer now yes. than I was last year. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not all the way there, but I'm closer Amen. because the, I can measure myself mm-hmm. against the vision. They yeah. my best friend cathedral is dedicated to advancing the kingdom of God. Are we advancing the kingdom of God? We're committed to touching lives with God loves. Are we being loving? Right. If we're not being loving, then that's the yardstick that says, oh, you got, you got to fix that. Right. 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 Changing lives with God's word, generations with God's word. Are, are, are the, is the word being preached changing the generation? We have about five generations in our church. Is it changing? If it's not, we got to fix it because the vision is the yardstick. Right. You got to measure, you got to measure. And let me just deal with stuff. Nah, I'm just saying, it ain't, y'all ain't got this problem because y'all are um, Zion worldwide. Universal Mission Church God bless you. <laughs> but, 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 but anything you're doing should be measured. You shouldn't be doing nothing in church. Nothing in church. And not measure. Every now and again, every now and again, every now and again, I don't care what's going on, I don't care how anointed you are. I, I'm the pastor. I, I wanna, how's it going? I'm measuring. Yes. And, and, and the, mo- the moment, the moment, the moment I sense a, why are you asking me? You're gone. Because <laughs> in case you have, I, I tell about these all the time. Uh, uh, this is my church. You're here serving my church. I, I had some leaders this years ago, years ago, who, 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 who got you know, started going to Bible school and got, got a little. It, Education and, uh, and started, you know, and the, and the professors, you know, I guess, would mess up with them, and they, they were, you know, trying to, and they started thinking, and and and, and oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, the only reason you have a title in this church is because I gave it to you. Yes. Speak up. And the pastor give it. <laughs> and I, I did, did not take it back. Sir. I said you you are no longer functioning. Because no. this ain't your church, ain't your vision, ain't your you everything you do should be a reflection of me. Yes. 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 Whatever you do should reflect me. That's right. Yes. When you're ready for it to reflect you, go start your own church. That's right. That's right. That's and let's right. see how many people follow you. Let's That's let's right. let's see how many people follow you. That's right. Okay. So, so, so you have to understand that 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 you have to reflect the leader because because it's my church. Everybody say, well, see, there you go. No, you all your pastors, y'all just y'all just think the church. It ain't your church. It's God's church. It's God's church. It ain't your church. It's God's church. That's how that's how I say so. That's how I say so. Let me explain to you. It's God's church by ownership. This is the Lord's church. He owns it. It's your church by membership. That's my church. That's my church. That's my church. Why? It's your church because you're a member. It's your church by membership. But it's the pastor's church by stewardship. That's right. It's the pastor God expects to steward the church, to lead the church. So yes, it's God's church. And yes, it's your church. But it's my church. <laughs> Mount Zion, his church. That's right. yes. Yes. He is the steward. He is the leader. He is the pastor. When God is looking at the church, he don't come judging to you for the judgment of this church. He comes to him. That's right. Amen. Are, y'all, are y'all feeling it? Teach it. Teach it. That's good. So vision is like glue. Vision is a magnet. Vision is a laser. And lastly, vision is a yard. Oh, are y'all getting something out of it? Yes. 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 Write the vision, make it plain. Yes. Make it plain. That he can run who reads it. The, the, see, see for, for, for the vision to come to pass, it must not just be written, it must be done. Yes. So it has to be written so someone can run. It must be written so someone can do it. So, so while God gives him the vision, he needs runners. Would you look at your neighbor and tell him, I'm a runner, I'm a runner, I'm a runner, I'm a runner, yeah, 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 yeah. see, 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 look, God gives the vision to the visionary, but then he brings runners, runners are the people who get, they put feet 
to the vision. They put Amen. hands to the vision. Some, some runners will give to the vision. Some will, will work Amen. the vision. But, but whatever your, your area, you got to understand, I'm a runner. I'm, somebody say, I'm a runner. I'm a runner. I'm a runner. Ah, I'm a runner. And I'm going to keep on running till the vision come to pass. I want to say that again. I'm going to keep on running till the vision come to pass. How long? Till the vision comes to pass. How long are you gonna keep on running? Till it happens. Till the vision comes to pass. I'm gonna keep on running for the vision will come to pass. It's for the point of time. God's divine timing. Yes, God. Now here's the problem with God's divine timing. It is not our time. That's right. <laughs> If, 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 if I could tell you how many times I tried to counsel God. <laughs> I did. I know mean, y'all don't do that. Y'all don't do that. But I did. I did. I tried to counsel God. On, on, on. You, know, you know, if I were you, this is how I'd do it. He has, he has the gift of ignoring me. Because he has his appointed time. Yes. I don't want to get too deep theologically, but, but in eternity past, yes. God already set up the yes. time oh, Lord. for all that's going to come. That's why he can say to Jeremiah, before you were born, while you were yet in your mother's womb, I knew you and ordained you to be a prophet for me. Why? Because I, before, before Adam sinned, hold on, go back further. Before Lucifer sinned, before everything was created, I had already made a plan. I want to tell you the reason you can trust God is because the plan of God has been in existence longer than you've been alive, longer than humanity has existed. I want to tell you God has already made a plan for your life. Your job is simply to follow the blueprint. If you follow what God has laid out, listen, he knows every trap in your life. He knows every trap. He, see, you know the traps you've been through. What you don't know is the traps that are coming. Ah, can I tell you, as we're going out of one year into another, there's some things coming your way next year that you have not even thought of yet. But God has already thought it out. And God has already thought it through. And God has already made a way. And your only job is to do what God says when, when he said take take a take a step, take a step. If he says stand still, stand still. If he said turn left, turn left. And, and stop trying to figure God out. Because God don't need you to figure him out. What God needs you to do is to obey him. And if you will obey him, understand he has an appointed time. There's an appointed time for your breakthrough. There's an appointed time for your blessing. How? There's an appointed time for God to do the miracle in your life. You might not know the time, but God knows the time. And when the time, in the fullness of time, he's going to make a way out of nowhere. In the fullness of time, he will open the doors or the close. In the fullness of time, he'll make the crooked path straight and the rough places smooth. You got to learn that the God you serve has an appointed time for your blessing, for your answer, for your breakthrough, for your miracle, for your raise, for your house, for your car, for your children, for your expansion, whatever you need. God already has. And I need a praise from somebody from their appointed time. Open your mouth and praise him. Right. 
The devil can't keep it. God has appointed a time for my blessing. No matter what it looks like, it shall speak and not lie. I came to tell you the vision will not deceive you or disappoint you. Y'all got to hear me. I said the vision will not deceive you or disappoint you. It's going to come to pass. It will be delivered. Get ready. I want to tell you, God is better than Amazon. He will find you and get the package to you. And you're going to get what he has for you. At the appointed time, somebody praise him for the appointed time. Because it's your time. It's your time. It's your time. He's going to do it. He's going to make a way. He's going to fix it. Yeah. 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 Somebody shout. It's my time. before the year is over and the devil's whispering to you it's not going to happen but I came to tell you God still got some time left there's still time for God to move there's still time for God to show off there's still time for God to show you he's got all power yes he does I need you to give him a praise because he's still got time. Oh, yeah. Somebody give God a shout of praise. small church in the upper room on the dead end street. If God would have told me what he'd be doing for me now this is the season of my life, I'd have been so much calmer. Mm, my God. <laughs> I, just, I just wish he would have told me, Curtis. <laughs> you know, I, we were looking for buildings. You know the story. I was looking for buildings all over Brooklyn. I, I, anything that had a for sale or a lease sign, yeah. I, 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 I drove with one eye on the road and one eye on buildings. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was talking to Bishop about it a couple years ago. I went every built. I, I laid my hands on the yeah. I put oil on the yeah. I did Jericho boxes on the building. I, 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 I did all that. And, 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 and then it wouldn't. And I'd be disappointed. I'd be disappointed. And then God, God, God gave me the, a magnificent complex. Y'all, y'all been there. Yeah. Yeah. If God would just told me, Curtis, this is what's gonna happen. Just chill out. Yeah. I'd handle it a little bit better. Yeah. 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 If he, if he told me, Curtis, when I started pastoring in 1998, in my in my house, my living room, we moved out all the all of the the the, 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 the living room furniture. Hmm. And that was the sanctuary. Yeah. We cleared out all of the dining room furniture. And the dining room was the overflow room. Yeah. Oh, I have been to the dining room. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. the dining room was the overflow room. And the stairs were my balcony. Yeah. I had a balcony in my house. That's yeah. right. Steps. If, 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 if God would have told me, with these 25 people you started with, one day, you're going to be a presiding bishop of over 50 churches. <laughs> oh, gosh! Curtis, it's not your time right now. Yeah. But there's an appointed time. Right, appointed time. And when you do it, 
you'll be able to bear the weight. Ooh, Jesus. That's right. You can't bear the weight now. This is your preparation period. But if you do this right, when it comes, you'll be able to bear the weight. I'm in a stage in my life now where 95% of the calls I get, 95% of the calls I get is trouble. Bishop, this is going on. What should I do? Bishop, this happened in my church. What should I do? Bishop, my wife is acting fool. Bishop, my husband is acting fool. Bishop, my children. <laughs> I, was on, I was on a phone call the other day. I was driving and the Lord dropped a bishop in my spirit. And I called him just to shoot the breeze. Found out one of his spiritual sons had just died. Aww. And everybody's looking to him and pressure on him. Yeah. And 95% of the stuff I deal with now. I couldn't handle it until I got to the appointed time. That's right. yeah. Yeah. That's right. I tell you my story because you got a story. That's right. There's stuff God has for you mm -hmm. that's coming. Don't listen. Don't rush it. Yes, God. Don't rush it because when, when the appointed time happens, yeah. you are able to handle it. Yes, God. If you get to it before the appointed time, yes. you can't handle it. I close with this. I close with this. The story of John Mark is one of the best stories in Scripture. John Mark traveled with Paul and Barnabas mm -hmm. early in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that the work got heavy for John Mark. Mm -hmm. and he couldn't handle the pressure. And because he, he, was, he was hanging with them, but, but he wasn't ready for it. When the work got hard, John Mark left them yes. and went back. And because John, John Mark left them, it caused a split between Paul and Barnabas. Barnabas took Mark, and we never hear from him again. Paul took Silas, and we, we, we hear of Paul and Silas all the way through the scriptures. Why? It, because Acts, Acts chapter 16, at midnight, Paul and Silas were. Yes, yes. Had it not been for John Mark, it would have been Paul and Barnabas. But, 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 but John Mark was not able to handle the weight of the age. But what I love about God is that later on when Paul is in prison, John Mark has matured. That's right, right. You find Paul saying, send John Mark to me because he's profitable for me now. This is the appointed time. It wasn't there. It's now. Are you okay? yes. Mount Zion, you have an appointed time when this is going to blow up. I, I know, I know it's hard to see it sometimes, but this is going to blow up. There's going to come a time when this is going to be the size of your leadership. Yes. 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 Meaning the church was small and we have about 60, oh 60 75 people and 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 I'd be up there and I'd talk to you, you know, I'm 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 full of vision. Crazy I'm full of vision. Crazy faith. And crazy faith. And and I would say to them, I used to tell them, I said, I said, that's all right. And people like, well, I said, I said, one day our leadership is gonna be the size of this church. And they were like, Yeah, yeah, Pastor David. Yeah. Okay, oh we love, we love Pastor, God bless you. Now my leadership is bigger than that. Hold on. Now, I, 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 almost have, I almost have as many churches wow. as people I used to have in my one church. You tell me God is not a God of expansion. Why am I telling you that? I'm hearing you my testimony yeah. for you to understand. God don't like me better than you. I just have great faith. I follow the vision. And I wait on God's appointed time. Yes, God. They that wait on the Lord shall be God. They shall mount up and wing to thee. Now listen. Last point, last point. It's how you wait that makes the difference. That's right. Yes. If you wait bitterly, come on, Jesus. The wait is longer. Wow. If you wait with an attitude, yes. the wait is longer. If you wait complaining, see. Waiting doesn't mean you do this. Waiting means I'm, I'm 
functioning yes. and right, doing. Right. Yeah. And while I'm doing, I'm waiting. Yes. Right. I'm not sitting around like, well, I'm, I'm waiting for somebody to call me to preach. Yeah. I'm, waiting. I'm, waiting for my, I'm waiting for my big break. No, 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 no. I'm waiting, doing. It's, it's almost like, 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 like a waiter at, at the restaurant. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on God. And while I'm waiting on God, I'm serving you. Yes. So, yes. I'm, who, who do you know? Yes. Who do you, or are, or are you just waiting for everybody to serve you? Who are you serving? What are you doing in the church? What is your assignment for you to do in the house as you're waiting or whatever else? Yes, God. Yeah. But yeah. well, we're going to wait on God. Because the vision is for an appointed time. It shall speak. Put your hands together give God some praise. Father, I pray right now for this house. This house that you've established, this house that you've blessed, this house that you are positioning, this house for whom you have a set time. And in your name, oh God, I speak the release of appointed time. What we cannot see, we will trust you. What we don't fully understand, we are going to stay faithful in our place while we wait for the appointed time. Because we are sure of this, it will speak and will not lie. Now, Lord, have your way. Bless this people. Bless this house. Oh, Lord, bless this pastor. In the name of the Lord Jesus.